We're in a new lesson now, lesson 16, and it's about mean, median, mode, and we're going to discuss range. This is lesson 16a. I've got links in the description to help you out for previous videos or any videos that might help you. Mean is the average. We add up all the numbers and divide the sum by the amount of numbers that were added. So if we have three numbers, 20, 25, and 30, we add them up, we get 75. And because there were three numbers, we divide the 75 by 3. We get 25, so we know the mean or average is 25. It's pretty easy. You add up the numbers and divide that sum by however many numbers you added, okay? To find a median or middle number, we arrange the list of numbers in order from highest to lowest or lowest to highest and pick the middle number. And it's easy when there's an odd amount of numbers, but when there's an even amount of numbers, two numbers will be in the middle. There'll be two center numbers. Then we need to add them together and divide their sum by two to get their average. So we take the two middle numbers and we get their average, just like we did up here. We add them together, divide it by two because there's two numbers. We get the average, and then that will be the median for the entire list of numbers. I'll show you in a second here. Mode is the number that occurs most. So we have a 20, a 24, a 20, a 30, another 20, and a 32. So the mode is 20. There's more 20s than any other number. The mode is 20. It's the one that occurred the most. The range is the difference between the lowest number and the highest number. We subtract the lowest number from the highest number to find the range. If we have 5, 10, 20, and 30, we do 30, the highest number, minus 5, the lowest number, we get 25. So the range is 25. These numbers range between 5 and 30. That's a range of 25. See? And when the range is small, we know the number values are close to each other. So we have 18, 19, 19, 20, and 21. These numbers are kind of close to each other. When we take the highest number, 21, and subtract 18, the lowest number, we get a 3. So we know all the number values in the set are very close to each other because that range is such a small number. When the range is large, we know the number values are far apart. We have a 5, a 62, a 97, and a 120. We take the 120 and subtract 5, we get 115. And because that's so much larger, we know that these number values are very far apart from each other. Because that is large, see? Could be in the thousands even. Then we would know the number values really differ. Find the mean, median, mode, and range. We have some students' ages here. We have nine students. To find the mean, we just add up all of these numbers. And because there's nine students, we divide the sum by nine. 234 is the total of all of these numbers. We divide it by the nine, because there's nine numbers, nine students. And we see that the mean is 26 years old. For the median, we have to put them in size order. So if you look at these, we have a 19 here, we have a 19 way over here. They're not in size order. See the 43 and then a 32? So let's put them in size order and then just pick the middle number. There's nine, it's odd. So we should be able to just go right to the middle number. The median is 25 years old. That's the median age of this set of people. The mode, there's three 19s. That's the number that occurs the most. So 19 years old is the mode. The range is 43 is the oldest age and 18 is the youngest age. So the range is 25 years of ages. See, that's the range in age, 25. Now this one has a table, a chart that says ticket sales. And we can see Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's ticket sales. This is how many tickets they sold. To find the mean, there's five days with five numbers. So because we have five numbers, we add the five numbers and get 435, and we divide it by the five because there's five numbers, five days. And we get an 87. That's the mean. That's the average. To get the median, we first put it in size order. So we have a 40 here. Well, that's the smallest number. We put it first. We put them all in size order and we pick the middle number. So the median is 95. 
for the mode, remember, the mode is the number that occurs the most. Well, they all occur only once. There is no number that occurs the most. So there's no mode. Look at that. There is no mode. The range, we take the 128 largest amount of tickets sold and 40, the smallest amount of tickets sold, and we get a range of 88. So sometimes there can be one mode, more than one mode, or no mode. In this list, the mode is three because it's the one that occurs the most. There's two of them. In this one, we have a two and a two and a three and a three. So the mode is two and three. So we have more than one mode. See, there's an equal number of twos and threes. So we have more than one mode. We have a two and a three. In this one, all the numbers are different. One, two, three, four, five. So there's no mode. So remember that the mode is the number that occurs most. And if there aren't any numbers that occur most, they all appear once, then there is no mode, okay? This one says, the daily temperatures in Chicago for six days were 42.8 degrees, 51 degrees, 53.6 degrees, 44.2 degrees, 48, and 41. Find the mean and median temperatures to the nearest tenth degree and the range of temperatures. So in a case like this, it says to the nearest tenth degree, they might trick you. And one of the choices for multiple choice might be not to the 10th degree. So be very careful how the wording is, okay? To find the mean, we just add them all up. And it's six days. There's six temperatures. When we add it up, we get 280 and 6 tenths. We just divide that by six because there's six numbers that we added. We get 46.766 and the six repeated. But it says to find it to the nearest 10th degree. And... That six is in the hundredth place. That six tells the seven to go up. So we have 46.8 degrees when we round it to the nearest tenth. The median, we put them in size order first. Because if you look, we've got a 41 degree way back here and a 51 degree in the middle. See, they're not in size order. So it doesn't matter if it's least to greatest or greatest to least. We put them in size order, whichever way, and... We have six numbers, so we have two middle numbers. So in order to find the median, we have to find the average of these two numbers. So we add them and divide them by two because that's how many numbers we added together. We get a 46.1 degrees. For the range, we take the highest temperature, the 53.6, and the lowest temperature, 41. I just put the zero there as a placeholder. You'll probably be doing this on a calculator. We get 12.6 degrees for our range. So now you should be ready to do the skill focus on page 185. And it says don't use a calculator for numbers 1, 2, or 3 on that skill focus. And you want to stick to that because this skill focus is kind of like a make pretend GED test. You want to do the skill focus just the way the test would say to do it. So if they don't allow calculators for some of these problems, you want to try it without a calculator. See if you can do it. If you have some trouble, go back and watch the video again. If you do well, well, I'll see you next video, okay? And we're going to talk about simple probability. That's lesson 16b. And there'll be a link to this 7.3 grade 6 video that talks about mean, median, and mode, okay? Maybe a different video will give you a different perspective, okay? But usually if you watch a video a second time, you see things that you missed. It's like watching a movie a second time and seeing dialogue or things in the background that you didn't notice or parts of the story you didn't notice the first time around, all right? It's normal. It's human, okay? I'll see you next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.